like a girl Then he got vice towards the girl See both sides like the girl See on both sides like the girl From the last to the whole world He didn't like I'm underworld Had my tattoos in Shibuya Police think I'm out the underworld Good morning, Shohans. Welcome to Shohan News. Here's our stories for today. Students, do you want a couple of free 100s on assignments and possibly a pizza party? Then make sure to invite your parents to the Parent Learning Summit, taking place on Saturday, November 13th. The summit will be both in person and virtual. If your parents attend, then you will receive two coupons to replace any low assignment grades with 100s and two coupons that will add 10 points to any test. The third period class that has the most parents attend wins a pizza party. Tell your parents to sign up as soon as possible by following the link on the flyer or by scanning the QR code. The coupons will be issued the day of the summit. Thank you. Veterans Day is a day where we honor and give thanks to those who have served in our armed forces. These are the men and women who protect our freedoms and keep our country safe. On Wednesday, November 10th, Chapman will be hosting a drive through parade to honor our veterans for Veterans Day. Students, please make sure to invite the veterans in your family to come take part so we may honor and thank them for their service. The National Junior Honor Society is currently collecting food items for the Gracias a Ti food drive and they need our help, Shorthorns. They're asking for the items being shown. For each item we bring, your first period teacher will keep track of the total points. The first period class that has the most points will win a pizza party and a donut party, provided by the National Junior Honor Society. Teachers, please keep track of which student brings what items so the Honor Society members can keep track of their community service hours. Let's open our hearts and give all we can, short horns. Hi, I'm Dale from Shorthorn News, and today I'm here with Miss Leindecker. I'm an eighth grade and sixth grade social studies teacher. Would you mind answering some questions for us today? No, not at all. Absolutely. Go ahead. Okay, number one, what is the importance of being a teacher? Uh, well, the importance of being a teacher is that we helped um, create a new generation of students that are going to lead more than anything our country. And it's also important for them to know about our history so they can go out there and become productive citizens here of this great nation that we have. If you weren't a teacher, what would you be? Well, I really would have been interested in being a veterinarian. I love animals and I love taking care of all those animals that are in need. I always go out and volunteer throughout the city and um, pick up little animals and take care of them, um, especially the ones that are abandoned and the ones that are sick. So I think I would have loved being a veterinarian so I can have those tools and that knowledge to take care of every single animal that would be out there in need. What do you do in your free time? What do I do in my free time? I love to run. I'm a marathon runner and I've been running for quite some time. Uh, I love to do half marathons, which are those would be about 13.1 miles. So I love going out of town and participating uh, for different events uh, throughout the state of Texas. I also love to go out there and do my gardening. I'm obsessed with flowers. And I also collect and try out chocolates. Chocolates is my thing. Yes. Number four, do you like video games? I love Galaga. I don't know if you heard this, but during my times, maybe the teachers out there know what I'm talking about, but Galaga is like the best game for me. I wouldn't be able to play any of your games, but I can guarantee you I am really good at Galaga. That's one of my favorite, favorite games. Okay. My mom too, actually. Really? Yeah. So maybe I can dare your mom. We can challenge him to see who wins. Yeah. You'd definitely be much better. I think that's it. I want to see, I want to see. Thank you, Miss Leindecker. And thank you for this opportunity, guys. You guys are the best crew, news crew, uh, news crew out there. Bye, guys. Our positive character trait of the week is integrity. What is integrity? 
It is a quality of being honest and having a strong moral principles and moral uprightness. Our affirmation of the week is, I will do the right thing even when no one is watching. Let's always be honest, not just with others, but also with ourselves, short rounds. Shout out to Miss Charles. I want to give a shout out to Mr. Sanchez. I give a shout out to Miss Moreno in advanced reading because her she's super chill in general. Um, I would like to shout out to Coach Rod because I want more playing time. I'd like to give a shout out to Mr. Gonzalez, the best art teacher ever. I want to give a shout out to Ms. Leindecker, the best social studies teacher ever. My favorite teacher is Coach Martinez from Jim. He's awesome and he's just super tough. Thank you. I give a big shout out to all my teachers, especially Mr. Sanchez, for making the start of the school day a very happy day in general. I want to give a shout out to Ms. Garza for being an excellent science teacher. I would like to give a shout out to Ms. Garcia for being super nice and fun. And now we go to sports. Our 8th grade football team will battle the United South Blue Leopards on November 8th at 7.30 p.m. with the winner becoming the 8th grade district champions. Make sure to go support our mighty Shorthorn football team. Let's bring that champion home, Shorthorns. Good luck 8th grade football team. Shout out to the 8th grade football team. Shout out to the 8th grade football team. Good luck to the 8th grade football team. Good luck guys, you better beat the Leopards. Have a good one, good luck. Good luck, Shorthorns! Best of luck to our 8th graders! You got this in the bag! My friends! Hey, go Horns! Super easy, you'll win it, no problem. Beat those Leopards! Go Horns! Good luck to our Shorthorns! Bring home the gold! concludes our Shorthorn news. See you next time, Shorthorns. Five. Or, or, you got this horn. You got these, you got this, boys. Go horns. You got this, boys, for <laughs> leopards. Beat those leopards, go horns. Yeah, vamos. All right. I think I'm recording. Oh, my Hello. God. Hello. <laughs> okay, ready? Okay. Tell me when. Five, four, When I point, you're supposed to do it and say it out. You're supposed to say it. Five, four, three. When I point, you're supposed to say and why. Wait, what do I say? Five, four. Three. All right, go, go. Right now? Yeah. Oh, good luck to the eighth graders for popping. Five. Five, four. I would like to give a shout out. Five, four, three. Whenever I point, you guys start. Oh, dude. One of you go like one, two, three, so we know to go at the same time. You do that. So you'll point that we're ready and then you'll count that. Ready? Okay. okay, I cannot do this because I'm going to be looking at the camera, so you have to do it above his head. Well, what the wall? Yeah, don't say three, just go like that. Go. Above his head. Oh, okay. Seriously, dude. Get, get up. You're just oh. gonna go here. Like oh. that. Ready? Okay. Eighth grade. Would you mind asking us, answering some questions today? It's of being a teacher. I have no idea. I'm trying to figure it out. I've been here working for 12 years. I'm ah, just kidding. That's about two students to help them out to allow them to create... No, wait! It's okay, it's okay. Delete it! Okay! <laughs> she made me laugh! I was not in here! Hi, Miss Leindecker. Would you mind asking us some questions today? I mean, answering some questions today? I keep on saying asking. I won't say asking this time, I promise. Hi, Miss Leindecker. Would you mind answering some questions for me? Thank you, Mrs. Ortiz. Line Decker. I keep on getting.
getting it so confused. Okay, five. Four. Oh, okay, five.